Let's learn how we can cut information from one place and paste it in another location. So we want to continue entering more books here in the next set of rows. And this date and time information is going to be in the middle. So we can keep inserting new rows before that and type in the data, or we can just move it to some other place. So in order to take this information and then paste it somewhere else, instead of copying and pasting, we are going to do cut and paste. So copying and pasting will actually keep the information here and make a copy in another location wherever we want, but cut and paste will actually remove it from one place and then paste it somewhere else. So let me choose this cell A9 by selecting it and then use Control C and you can see the dancing ants, which tells you that this cell has been copied. And if I, instead of using Control C, if I use Control X and now you still see the dancing ants, but now it's been cut, meaning if I paste it anywhere else, it will be removed from cell A9. So let me choose just some random place. I'm going to choose G1 and I'm going to now paste here. So for me to paste, I can still use the paste menu item here or I can right click and then paste. What you see here is different from what you saw when you had you were doing copying and pasting. So when we are cutting and pasting, you actually don't have much option. It's only one form of paste. But when you copy and pasted, you had several controls over what gets pasted into the new cell. For the cut and paste, you're just gonna have only one option. So choose paste here, and you can't see the entire content here, but if I auto fit, you can see the entire content. Now, we used the keyboard shortcut to cut, which is Control X. We can also cut a cell by clicking here on the menu or choosing right click and then choosing cut. Again, all these three, three ways are available. And in terms of pasting, similarly, you can choose right click and paste. You can use Control V shortcut or you can click on this paste item. And you can see here that the paste menu item is disabled. And that's because we are doing a cut and paste operation. So as soon as you paste information, Excel loses that information, meaning that you cannot paste it into another place. You have to cut again and then paste. But when you compare that with the copy and paste, you can copy once and you can paste it many, many times continuously if you would like, and this paste menu item will be enabled. But for cut and paste, you cut and then paste it into a new cell, and then you cannot paste it immediately again. So you have to go back and then cut again, and then the paste menu item becomes available. Another thing to note here is that I can also move content by going and taking my mouse cursor to anywhere on the cell on the edge, not in the corner, but on the edge. And Excel's mouse cursor is now changing into some kind of a plus sign with arrows, and which means I can click now and I can drag anywhere and Excel is going to move the information from here over here. What Excel has done now is cut from here and paste it. So this is another way you can easily do cut and paste by just dragging any cell, clicking and then dragging over to another cell. And you can go in four directions. And this is another way of quickly moving content from one cell to another. Now let us continue entering the books that we wanted to enter. We already have the hardcover books and we want to store now the soft cover books. So the book name, authors, and then the published year would be the same for the soft cover versions of the book too. So it's very easy to now copy all this information and then use Control C shortcut and come over here and click cell A8. And I'm gonna use Control V. And this would automatically copy this information and then store it here paste it here and now I can edit 
the book type because it, these should be soft cover books. I'm going to select all these five and then type in soft cover and hit control enter and that instantly would enter soft cover books. Let's enter the ebook version. So I'm going to select the author names and the book names and copy and then go back to cell A13 and then paste. This will paste the book name and the authors. And then for the book type, I'm going to use ebook and click enter. And then I can use the other method, which is select and double click. This will enter ebook in all these cells. And let me type in the rest of the information quickly. Now I have typed in all the information. As you can see here, the borders are a little bit different from what we would like. They're not very consistent because we use different methods of copying and pasting information. So in order for us to update the formats, so let's select all these cells and go back to our format cells dialog box using control and one. And let us now select the border section and here, if we want the outline to be a thick black line, so let's choose thick and we're going to choose black color and let's put that in the outline. And so that should give a black thick line and then insides, we want them to be, for example, let's say thin black lines. So I'm I did a mistake because we had selected thick black line and now it's applied a thick black line. I can easily undo that. So let me go back and select a thin black line and then I click here and now the inside will be now thin black lines. So now let's put OK and now let's go back and see how it looks. So now we have 15 books in our list of books. And we have five hard covers, five soft covers, and five ebooks. And the borders are thick black border around and then thin black lines inside. And then we have the header or the field names here in blue fill and white font and blue thick borders. So we have now completed entering all the books in our bookstore.